babies what's up my darling mvps and how are you all doing welcome back to sale with me me shortly me me where you get the gist i see they do waiting i see the heart of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do what you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing kindly pause right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get a gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get a gist i see the heart so yeah guys we all know saturdays are one of the interesting days in biggie's house because of course party and then once alcohol is in the system the house may tend to give us some show anyways tonight was not any different because they actually did give us some show probably maybe not from the people you expect it from when i say the people like the triangle jared what do they even call them Jalimpu, <laughs> the Jalimpu ship. You you all know the ship that comprises of Jarid, Mpumi, and Liema. Very famous ship at that. So, anyways, guys, um, the party was actually interesting. I enjoyed the party. I do not know about you. Tell me, did you enjoy the party? The housemate that I enjoyed more in the party was Liema, Mpumi, Z. Yeah, I enjoyed this, ladies, for the ladies, I enjoyed this three. Like, Liema and Pumi really, was really ready for this party. Like, they really dig it out, you know. I'm just saying for the ladies. So, you tell me the people you enjoyed at the Saturday night party. I just said mine, okay? All right, guys. Let's just leave the Saturday party. Let's enter the gist. That is after party drama. That is where the gist is at. So, Papa Ghost and Lerato were the people who gave us the drama tonight. You know, I said something the other time. If you're a fervent um, viewer of my channel, I said something one time in one of my videos. I said, some people were trying to come for Papa Ghost for making Lara to not mix with the housemates. And I said something. I said, if we are to judge by that, it is Lerato that is holding Papa Ghost down not to actually mix with the housemates because Papa Ghost is ready to flirt. But Lerato will not let that happen. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, if Lerato leaves the house today, Papa Ghost is so going to live a free life in that house. Now, here is the thing. Lerato was shouting regarding Papa Ghost dancing with another lady in the club. And she was referring to else. Because Papa Ghost did dance. He's always free at the dance floor doing his thingy. Every weekend, Lerato has always complained about that. that the, was it not last weekend? Yes, last weekend, Lerato was even confronting Papa Ghost and was telling Papa Ghost that why is it that you actually dance with other people but you barely come to me to dance with me? They sorted that one out today, another weekend, another drama. Like, they don't want to set boundaries regarding that because Papa Ghost insists that you're not going to stop me from dancing with whomever or however I want to dance. It is the party... All the weeks I'm with you, we are always together. Now this is party. You just need to dance, unwind and everything, mix with the housemates. And Lerato was like, you keep doing this. She was shouting seriously. But while this was happening, we the viewers, we were thinking it's a stage, you know, drama. Because we all know their plans from the cabin, the private cabin they were coming from. You know, we're thinking it's a stage drama from the two so as to maybe separate and then operate on the housemates you know that was what i thought i'm very sure you would think the same not until i heard that conversation later on that i knew it was not a drama so they were shouting um papa ghost was like he's gonna leave and lerato was like yes leave you cannot threaten me guys it was not a small thing oh, hey wow so they were just shouting papa ghost was like you're not gonna stop me from dancing with anybody i want to dance with next saturday i'll still dance with any lady i want like he now left so i don't know what was happening within the scenario i don't know how young papi brought the gist of going outside to tell the housemaid that himself and z saw lerato and sinaye kissing now this is this boy dragging z's name to the mud and netizens were like what is this boy trying to do 
what is this? What is his aim trying to tarnish Z's image? Because even when he said that to Z, Z even said, I did not, see, it, it does not look like they were kissing. I did not even see that happening. After the drama of Papa Ghost and Lerato, Lerato was gisting with Sinaye. That was how young Papi came up with that gist. It was trading on the social space. Sinaye kissed Lerato. Sinaye that actually had to man up before he kissed Z would just come like that and kiss Lerato, who is in a ship. You guys should actually do better. Like, it doesn't make sense. Anyways, whatever young papi is cooking, <laughs> netizens are praying for him that he should continue praying for not to be up because if he's up, that he would definitely go. They are actually talking. In fact, if no matter what, right, no matter how we tend to say this, one thing we should say for sure is that young papi was trending on that show from the beginning till now because of Z. Like, people have been in fact young papi has been on people's lips i think he's actually achieving his aim to be talked about because people are definitely talking about him anyways that one aside so but you know the funny thing what got z fans i think i understand what is happening in all of those things how z fans are feeling because after young papi does whatever he wants to do he will still go to bed and himself and z will be holding up doing all those smooching and whatever together it's actually so annoying now. It's really annoying. Somebody biting you and still fanning you at the same time. That's really bad. Anyways, guys. Um, afterwards, um, the rattle was downstairs with was his name Sinaye. They were together, Justin, and then Papa Ghost was trying to operate else. At the point, else discovered that this might be a stage. Like she was like telling, I think she was telling Z, like, don't you think these people stage this fight so as to you know, get into me. They want to put me in the middle. Me, you and I in the middle between their whatever they are having. I'm like, this girl is very smart. So she is really smart to have actually think that something like that could have happened from Papa Ghost and Lerato. So anyways, after all their rigmaroling, you know, and whatnot, Papa Ghost trying to, you know, give uh, some attention, taking else to bed, went, going downstairs to just their last car room because Lerato was there. You know, they were just going up and down anyways. Afterwards, they went, else went back upstairs. They were chasing and then this conversation ensued between else and Makeke. You know, Makeke was telling else that else is two-faced and else was like, why will you call me a two-faced girl? They were just arguing. You know, and then Makeke was like, Else is two faced. The other time, the other week, Else had issues with Mark Jr. Next thing they have settled, blah, blah, blah. Else was like, How do you expect me to carry beef from previous week because of what? I am this person that when I have issues with you, I trash it and that is over. You know, while they were having that argument, Papa Ghost now said something to Makeke and I said, Don't call Else two faced. Rather, you are the one that is also two faced. Makeke was like, How would he say that? And Papa Ghost was like, You that is actually pointing at Else, saying that Else had issues with Mark Jr. What of you that is my G? Like, I am your guy, but I and Mark Jr. had issues. He disrespected me and he has not even apologized to me. But every time you're kiki kakaing with this same dude, are you not two-faced? Makeke was like, he's not two-faced. How is he two-faced? That was how Makeke and Guess actually got in a little band because of Mark Jr. And guess what? While they were arguing about Mark Jr., Baby Boy was busy. First off, the camera showed him where he was at the locker room trying to bring out the suits he would wear <laughs> on Sunday for their vision show. Afterwards, he made his way to the kitchen. He was cleaning. You know, he's this person that he will clean. He takes his time to clean and do all the necessary in the middle of the night when the housemates are sleeping. He was just removing the rice while they were busy talking about him, arguing that Mark Jr. this, Mark Jr. that. <laughs> well, how I be like bicycle, guys? Like now, some persons are saying they want on Sunday Lawrence should do this or do that. There is nothing Lawrence would do compared to what he did last Sunday. Last Sunday was the highest of it all. Anybody that could not have sense from last Sunday questioning, no, there is nothing Lawrence would do right now to change it. Anyways, um, Lerato finally went back upstairs to stay with her man because she was downstairs before with Sinaye. She went upstairs to stay with her man. They were having this convo that made me knew the drama they acted, the quarrel was not staged because Lerato was like some of the housemates were saying they stayed the drama and Papa Ghost was like, but it was real. It was real. That was how I knew that it was definitely real. Anyways, guys, that one aside, the drama of Papa Ghost, Lerato, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's talk about the triangle. Mpumi, 
Jared and Liema. So, um, unlike previous nights where Liema, they would go crazy after alcohol has got into the system, this night Liema was kind of withdrawn. She seemed unhappy, like she was not okay and this really do not sit well with netizens because they feel the girl really want to opt out from whatever is going on between the triangle but because she feels this particular drama is helping her gameplay hence she doesn't want to leave whatever she has with jared and Mpumi. meanwhile while they were sitting <laughs> at the lounge right you see this Mpumi is a body did you see where her hand is while they were having conversation she was busy robbing Jared <clears throat> down below. You know, Jared just acted all cool like nothing was going on. Now, tell me why Jared do not like Mpumi. For a girl who is this naughty, why would he not like her? Anyways, that aside, they later retired to bed. You know how they sleep this time around that they've accepted their, their Jalim pushship or what is it called? Now, they sleep together, Jared in the middle. He would kiss this one and kiss that one, you know, that kind of a thing. So, this time around, Liema went to her own bed to stay you know they were the one that called her to come and say ah, come now come already jared and pumi was together on the bed discussing you know they now called Lema to join them Lema came in between them but she was staying at the edge meaning where their foot was was where Lema was staying she just looked so uncomfortable she was like she's feeling sleepy and all of that after everything they later wanted to sleep and she left the bed again went to her own bed to stay it was still jared that took her to the other bed so fans are like jared why didn't you leave her why did you do this it's not just fans netizens as a whole people from other sh um fan base were saying the same thing jared let that girl be you know because it may seem as though it is getting to people on how the gameplay is going on between mpumi liema and jared of course i am one of those people who really wished liema would have played the game the other way around so that was how Liema ended up, you know, staying in the same bed with Jared and Mpumi yet again as family. But the question is, even if she never wanted to stay on that bed, Jared is not meant to force her to. If she can stand on her ground fully and said she is not going, she would have just stayed back, you know. But at the same time, obviously, she's trying to play her own game, you know, in, in as much as it might not be suitable for viewers, but she is playing her own game the way she deemed fit. And do not forget, this same Mpumi nominated Liema. Her co-wife nominated her. Not for one day did Liema frown at Mpumi because of that. It definitely shows that she's playing the game. Alright, let's see what Renizayon is saying. Lera to play your game. You didn't come to that house with ghosts. If you have to decide restrict yourself okay if you have decided to restrict yourself from other housemates then that's your game you can force ghosts to do you can't force ghosts to do the same with the housemates it's just dancing and once a week is not that deep let him have some fun every saturday lerato will complain about papa ghost dancing with other girls but i have never seen any effort from her dream party approaching papa to dance but would rather be with Sinai or just sit somewhere yet she wants papa not to have fun all right all right this is coming also coming from rainy papi is disgusting lying creep so irritating to watch now making lera to throwing jabs at z because of his lies it is sad because all the things in brackets the lie and sabotaging papi says behind z no one will ever tell z not even Lawrence, while Zeke will continue to be open with him and trust him as a good friend. The sad and mental stretch of this game for the viewers. Exactly, that is where I feel for Z stands because they are the one going through it. Z do not know what is going behind her back. I feel bad for Liema. She is not happy being in that situation and yet she can't leave. That is being in that situation with the Jalimpu whatever. Living in bondage, imagine going through this nonsense just because you think it is helping your game, says Hills. He actually quoted this with a picture of Liema, um, just like this, kind of worried at the edge of the bed when they were having conversation. Dela said, for Lawrence to embarrass the hell out of Liema during the life eviction show, like make her feel like the dumbest person alive, maybe then she will learn. 
We still pin till she wins the show. Now, you know the funny thing. There is nothing Lawrence can do about it. Except Lawrence wants to just favor her and start telling her, Liema, avoid Jared. You have fan base. Mm -mm, Lawrence cannot do that. The way she would have used her head, she did not use it. How Smith had actually spoken to her, she could not use it. So, it is left for her to play the game whichever way she wants. Mpumi's tomato sauce said, Liema needs to be honest with herself and Jared. Tell him you want no part in this thing and stand firm in your decision. You are clearly not happy. Yes, she looks unhappy this night. The moment I made my conclusion that Liema is playing this game and focus on 2M is when Mpumi nominated her face to face and she didn't react here now. They have done their worst. Let her sleep wherever she want to sleep. She knows what she is doing. All right, let's hope she knows what she is doing. And I hope whatever she is doing may pay her off because this is indeed a game. While you're playing your game, some other people are playing higher game. Anyways, guys, what do you think about all of this thing? What do you think about Liema? And I don't know if did you watch it this night. Did you see how she was feeling? She was really looking unhappy, sincerely. She was really looking unhappy. But I really wish she would stand to her ground and stay far from that ship. It would be better for her guys tell me what you think in the comment section because i will be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later today almost it is almost 4 a.m almost you choco wahala bye for now babies